So hello everybody and happy Monday. How are you today? Are you ready for the week? I am definitely ready. So in today's video, I have no, it, it is going to blow your socks off. It is amazing. I'm going to show you how to create a list between two dates. So you have a start date and you have an end date and you want to have the dates in between as a list in Power BI. So this is something that I stole from the Power BI community. Fantastic resource. And uh, Anna is asking how to, uh, you know, create the list and then the amazing image shows up and, you know, amazes with her brilliance. This is amazing. I'm going to show you how she did it. It's just wonderful. And um, if you scroll down, you'll find that it's also possible to do it, obviously, in DAX, but you are going to do this in Power Query, right? Right? <laughs> you are doing it in Power Query? Hmm. Okay, let's do it in Power Query. So here we were going to do, uh, we're going to Power Query, the copy in case code. You're going to get a link down below if you want to know how this is done and try it yourself. So you can go to Imkis post and vote it and like it, okay? So we have a task name, a start date and an end date. And what we want to generate is a list of dates between those two. And, um, First of all, how you create a list. How you create a list in Power Query is actually very easy. You create a custom column, and then you have these curly brackets, and then you go one, dot, dot. So start from one to, let's say, 50. And that's how you create a list. It's as simple as that. And what it will do, because we're doing it as a column, it's going to do the same thing for each row. Okay, so it will go, here is one to 15, there is one to 15, and so on and so forth but here we don't want to have one of 15 we want to have start date and end date so how do you do that you go up here instead of one you have your start date and instead of 15 you have your end date but it's going to give you an error because it says we cannot apply the operators to types date okay so you cannot do this with dates but you know this from excel dates are numbers right so this is in solution so you get the date and you convert it to a number so instead of having one from 15 or you know 2017 mm -mm, that is a number so if we remove this one first look what happens you get the date converted numbers and then it generates a list between the start number and the end number. And ladies and gentlemen, you are done. It will create a list of numbers. Obviously, you need to convert them to date. And then you're, that's it. You're done. Here you have the list of all the dates between that start date and end date. Mind-blowing. It's, it's just so elegant and simple that it's gorgeous. So thank you, Imke, for showing us your brilliance. I think it's fantastic, fantastic. So this is all for today. I will see you again on Wednesday and then on Friday, as always. So until then, take care. Enjoy your week. It is sunny in Sweden. That's probably why I have so much energy. But let's stop talking. Bye. I'll see you soon.